Good morning. Good to be with you on this June 11th, Saturday morning. It is a beautiful day. It's going to be 90 degree. So that is the reason I'm a little late today. Actually, I thought that I should do all my weekend ritual as early as possible. So I ran 10 miles and swam 2 miles and biked 30 miles all done. Yesterday, there is a wonderful celebration happened in America. I'm talking about Muhammad Ali's funeral. This is uh, actually it's a sad news but the way it was uh, conducted is a funeral service and uh, the memorial service all if you could I mean I'm sure that many of you watched it as a matter of fact I even posted uh, two videos live videos of the funeral the two different uh, religion uh, people the heads were talking in his uh, funeral if you see that uh, there's a lot of uh, past and uh, present presidents also were attending and um, everyone has a good word to talk about this man nothing else i mean everybody was saying he's uh, such a good man what are the good things he did the champ the greatest you know as a matter of fact president obama said Muhammad Ali is America. America is Muhammad Ali. That's what he wrote in his condolence message. So that brings us to our topic today. In Mahabharata, Lord Krishna says, the good always see the good in others. But uh, how do you uh, do that, right? Unfortunately, it is not always easy to see the good in others. That is the reality. We are familiar with the atrocities that many humans have been involved in. Be the genocide, war, murder, child molestation, pyramid schemes, etc. Right? Plus, we, we have all been wronged numerous times. Every one of us got into this tangle, so nobody escapes, right? So it's hard to see the good in someone when they just lied to you or cheated on you. To make matters worse, your own brain is conspiring against you. That is another uh, fact. We have an instinct, negativity bias, or tendency to focus on give more weight to negative experience or information instead of a positive one. So now this is all the problem what we are facing. But how do you solve this? How you can see a good in others? There are three techniques you can follow. This is very simple techniques. Find the positive intention behind every action. That's the number one. Number two is the most important. Forgive others for their actions. Number three is actually a scientific uh, reason, the technique which you can do it. It's very easy too. Use your reticular activating system, which is ca called as uh, RAS. Your RAS is the part of your brain that controls and directs attention. It is an unconscious a filter that picks out bits of information that your conscious mind find important. When you focus your attention on something, your RAS looks for information that reinforces whatever you have directed your attention to. If you hold a particular belief, your RAS finds evidence to support that belief. When you start putting these ideas into practice, you will have a much more positive view of the people around you and you will notice more of these positive attributes in yourself. As you become more proficient in finding positive aspects in other people, you get better at seeing positive aspect of yourself. Okay? So, practice these three techniques, you'll be alright. With that, I will say everybody have a great day. See you all later. Bye-bye.